Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a day in the life of a meteorologist. Today is day two of my shift, and I set my alarm for 7:50 a.m. and I start work at 8 a.m. But I'll explain that in a minute. I am a full-time meteorologist, and I forecast the weather for a large portion of Canada. I have been working as a meteorologist for five years now, and I actually just hit my five-year milestone in January. Ever since I was a kid, I have always loved learning about the weather and thought thunderstorms were so cool. And I think I'm pretty lucky that I can say that I'm working my dream job. I'd say my morning routine is pretty standard. I like to keep my routines pretty simple with a few products. I have pretty sensitive skin, so I think sometimes having too much product on my face can irritate it. And of course, the first thing I do is brush my teeth. I feel like that helps me wake up and feel refreshed in the morning. Next, I am using my favorite cleanser by You To The People. This is the Superfood Gentle Antioxidant Cleanser. This has done wonders to my face, and I have refilled this bottle several times now. After finishing up my morning routine, I have already fed chicken breakfast and I have already logged into work. I start making my breakfast, which is going to be a bowl of oatmeal and fruit. I find that I go through different breakfast phases. There will be some long stretches of weeks when I'm craving toast or a pastry. And then there will be other stretches when I am craving for cereal, but I'm now back onto the oatmeal. I have noticed that I am more energized in the morning when I eat oatmeal, fruit, and granola for breakfast. A little dash of cinnamon and that's it. So a lot of us meteorologists, we do work shift work and I work four days on and then I get four days off. So that's a four day weekend. But the thing with that is I do two day shifts and then two night shifts. And for each shift, I do work 10 and a half hours. The nice situation with my work is that since 2020, with everything that happened in 2020, I now work from home permanently. So that is a really good thing because I used to be going in to the office when I would work night shifts and just driving home after a night shift is really scary because I feel like a zombie and I feel like my mind is like not there. But yeah, so now I work from home and it's really nice because after a night shift, I just brush my teeth and then I roll into bed and I go to sleep. That's it. There's no commute, which is perfect for me. But anyway, so it is the beginning of my shift right now and usually the first things that we do is look at the current observations, which is what we call now casting. So we're looking at the current precipitation that's happening on the radar and then we're comparing it to our forecast and making sure that everything is running smoothly as it should be. But say for example, a city is showing um, on the radar that there is precipitation, but then in our forecast, there is no precipitation. So that's when I would investigate and see what's happening. Basically why there is a discrepancy in the forecast. So let's say after investigating, I realized that what's actually happening is something called Virga, where there is precipitation falling from the cloud, but it is not reaching the Earth's surface. So then that's where I would come in and I would go in and make some manual changes so that it's not showing that it is raining when it is actually not. I look at a lot of Canada and then at 11, that's when I actually start forecasting. So I'm just going to do that and continue finishing up my breakfast.
So while I work, I either like to listen to music, watch some YouTube videos, or just watch some shows. So currently, I'm watching Arthur. So we have Arthur playing on one of my screens. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I am having trouble finding shows to watch right now. So if you have any shows that I can binge watch that you would recommend, please put it down in the comments. All right, so I'm just gonna jump into my meeting now. Good morning. Oh, good. I'm here. Hey. How's it going? Carry already, and then it was like, maybe we need to invite join us to that a little bit later. But we were talking a little about um, the challenging forecast um, mm. in Montreal. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> I know. I know. It's one of those days. All right, so I am done my meetings now. They went a lot longer than I expected, but I am well into my forecast now. I've already finished doing precipitation. I did the sky as well, so putting in the clouds and then also the winds. So next up, I'm, I'll be doing temperature. And I find doing temperature pretty tricky and it needs a lot of like concentration and focus because I'm dealing with so many different cities as well as looking at so many different data. So looking at a lot of numbers as well. I really need to focus with that, but right now I'm like super hungry and I'm gonna find something to eat. Okay, so for lunch, I'm just gonna have some leftover kimchi soup that I made. And so I'm probably just gonna put something on YouTube to watch while I eat and work. and I am just gonna take a break right now because I am tired. I think I'm gonna take this break to do maybe a quick meditation. I'm just kind of feeling a bit off today so I'm just gonna do that. Just take a few moments to just clear my mind and go into a more zen zone. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna take a bit of a break right now and then after I'll be taking a look at the long range forecast. and cons to my job working from home. Pros will definitely be not having to commute, being able to just sit on my couch when I need to just decompress. Even like with lunch, I can just make my lunch right on the spot. I don't have to pack any any containers or anything. I hate washing containers. I hate doing that. I do my laundry at the same time while I'm working. The cons, I would say just not having that human interaction like i had when i did work in the office uh but this is why i do a lot of um hobbies and sports yes sit sit i do climb maybe about three to four times a week and by doing that i do find that i have a balance with um, being isolated at home as well as having an equal balance of human contact let's do some quick squats to wake myself up back to work all right so i am done the long range so i still have an hour to go usually around this time i make sure that my forecast has uploaded correctly and as well as i like to take a look at the radar do a bit more now casting making sure that the radar is doing what 
it's supposed to be doing and it's in line with my forecast making sure that everything is good to go for the next person that's going to be coming on uh, that person is going to be doing a night shift so i'm doing a day shift right now the next person that's going to be on after me will be doing a night shift but yeah this is basically a day in the life of a meteorologist this is what i do this is a quick rundown of my work. Um, I didn't go into depth of some scientific stuff. I spared you guys that part. If you guys want to see what happens during a night shift where I work from 8 p.m. till 6 30 in the morning, let me know if you want to see that video. Like this video and comment down below. Thanks for watching!